against Greg Page has been around, I think, since dirt. And Greg Page preparing to make his entrance now. He's never been a big splashy guy. He's pretty much all business. Uh, always some question about his uh, quickness, and uh, that's, that's still a big question about Greg Page and what he's going to have to try to answer. He spends, as we said, most of his time these days training fighters. But since he embarked on this unlikely comeback in 1996, he has fought 17 times, has won 16 of those, and draw, had a draw. So he has yet to lose in this comeback phase. Fighting uh, club fighters for the most part in Nashville. And here is, my, that's not Monty Barrett, <laughs> but uh, Monty going uh, thematic tonight. Well, he'll have to go a long way to beat Hector Camacho's uh, entrance into the ring, which he was carried in. But I hear the Clint Eastwood music. Yeah, yeah. I think we have a Western theme going. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad in the corner. There's Monty. The Queen's Cowboy. Monty uh, hiring uh, an ensemble. Yes, he brought in uh, some very impressive gunslingers to precede him into the uh, ring here tonight. There you see them behind him, Monty. America's most wanted. And Greg Page uh, is just going to kind of ignore this whole uh, charade here. Monty Barrett, as you see, uh, we said 17-0. He's 18-0 with 12 knockouts, 27 years old. Former football player, could have gone to college and played football. Greg Page, well... He's been in there uh, on no less than 66 occasions. Uh, his knockouts are not all of the one-punch variety. 38 years uh, young, he would tell you. To the center of the ring now, and Thomas Driver. From the Trump Marina in Atlantic City, New Jersey, America presents, and the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser, proudly present to you our featured bout. It is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Commissioner is Larry Hazard, Sr. Chairman is Gerard Gormley, Jr. And members of the board are Gary Shaw and Stephen Katz. Deputy Commissioner is John Kreko. And the physicians at ringside are Dr. Dominic Coletta and Dr. Eric Wormser. The timekeeper is Roosevelt Gilbert. And the matchmaker is Tom Brown. The three judges assigned scoring on a 10-point must system are Calvin Claxton, Emil Conforte, and John Riley. When the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action will be Earl Brown. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event. Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left out of the red corner, he's wearing white trunks with black trim and weighed in at 244 pounds. Coming to us from Las Vegas, Nevada, he has a professional record of 53 wins, 12 losses, one draw, with 43 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Greg Page. And his opponent, fighting directly across from him out of the blue corner, he's wearing white trunks with red trim and weighed in at 217 pounds. Hailing from Queens, New York, he is undefeated with 18 wins and 12 of them coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Monty Two Guns Barrett. Once again, your referee in charge, Earl Brown, now to give the instructions. All right, gentlemen, let's keep this very clean. Let's keep this very professional. When I ask you to break, I want you to stop punching and step back. Protect yourselves at all times, you hear me? All right, you must obey my commands. At Greg Page not looking That's at Monty well. Barrett. He did not look at Barrett yesterday at the weigh-in, and that really ticked Barrett off. And Barrett felt that he was being dissed by Page yesterday because of that, because Page has basically turned his back on him. Said, I don't like Greg Page. See if the feeling's mutual. Yeah, he... he felt that Page is quite rude. And Greg Page opens up on uh, young Monty Barrett immediately here. That's very uncharacteristic of Greg Page. Page is a guy who will wear you down. I mean literally wear you down. He'll lean on you. He'll keep you against the ropes. Being in with the best. Oh, yes. He turned pro way back in 1979, Barry. That's a long time ago. 
won the WBA Heavyweight Championship in 84 in South Africa with an eighth round KO of Jerry Cotsia. Got away with a low blow there. Page has never presented a svelte appearance no. in the ring. I mean, you may look at him and say, oh, he's out of shape, but basically one of his fights, even in his heyday in the, in the 80s, up in the uh, uh, 240 and 240 plus range. And, and when we say he's, he's not quick, we're not talking about his hands. He's always had pretty quick hands. Yes. He just hasn't been able to get out of his own way sometimes. Hasn't let Monty Barrett get off here in this first round. I think he really surprised Barrett with that initial onslaught, Barry. As soon as the bell rang, he came out firing. Very good first round for Page, at least so far through the first half of the first round. He's landed some very clean blows. Now, it's likely he'll have this hand quickness now, but if the fight, you know, stretches on into the later rounds, you know, with the uh, page being 39, almost 40, turns 40, in fact, in, I think, two more days, you might see some of that hand speed diminishing. There's a right hand by Barrett. Now, Greg Page had the misfortune of, of being the other fighter from Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, and there were a lot of people, you know, when Greg came up, he did have those quick hands, and he was a pretty good boxer and moved around the ring pretty good, so people naturally com would compare him with Ali. And uh, that's a lot to put on a, a young kid coming up. Yeah, it really is. That's true in any sport, you know. I mean, when you called Harold Minor, everybody was calling Harold Minor Baby Jordan, you know. There's a that good right hand. That didn't do him any good, I don't think. I just put initial pressure on it. No, I think that's absolutely true. I mean, all the years uh, I grew up, of course, watching Willie Mays play center field, and every backup center fielder that the Giants had was the heir apparent to Willie Mays. Now, Paige trying to get that jab to work now, if he can. Well, a very effective first round for Greg Page. We're going 10, and Barrett not yet on track. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Great. Well, there's a cut over the left eye of Monty Barrett, and we spoke with our old Brown referee, and he said it was not caused by a headbutt, it was caused by a punch. Come on, don't hold him, don't hold him, don't hold him, don't hold him. We get a chance to mention that working in the corner of Monty Barrett as he stings Page with a left hand, and another. And Page comes right back with a double right hand. I think Page is a little hurt, a little bit wobbly, but now he's fighting a little bit from instinct, too, which means firing back. I was going to say in the corner of Monty Barrett is Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, who I think has just done excellent work recent years with young fighters. It was Barrett who came out winging at the start of this round. He wasn't going to be taken surprise again, by surprise again, at the start here of round two. Interesting enough, I cannot see the cut now that the fight has started, but there's blood on the trunks of Barrett, and they were working on the cut in the corner between rounds. Now Page trying to get his left jab to work. It's always been a good jab. Uppercut from Barrett. Page held that title in that era of really unfortunate era, I think, uh, for heavyweight boxing. I mean, there were just a lot of guys who you wouldn't think of in terms of heavyweight champions of the world. I mean, you had Larry Holmes, who was the legitimate champion, and then you had the other organizations uh, going ahead and having being represented by uh, people like uh, Tony Tubbs and uh, Coetzee. Uh, Michael and Dokes. Michael Dokes, uh, Mike Weaver, you know, that whole crowd, Trevor Burbick. They just kind of uh, gave the title back and forth. They certainly didn't excite many, and I don't think they'll go down in the history books as great fighters. Barrett seems to have settled down a little bit here in the second round. Page just trying to get himself back together after surviving that quick onslaught by Barrett. Break, break, break. But Page has fought most of the top guys of the era. Razor Ruddick, Bruce Selden, we mentioned Coetzee, Tony Tubb, Buster Douglas, Ronaldo Snipes, Tim Witherspoon, Bone Crusher Smith, all of those guys.
almost a low blow from Page. Barrett has the moniker double left hand, and that gets Page going sideways. So say he has the moniker two guns that would play havoc with any English teacher in America, wouldn't it? <laughs> G-U-N-Z. Just went along with his Western motif. That's true. And his cowgirls gunslingers. Monty Barrett, uh, 18 wins, undefeated, feels somewhere along the line. And he's got to take that step up. Why not tonight against the veteran Greg Payne? So basically, that's what I want. I told my manager, I told my promoter, you know, to get to be, to fight the best and be the best, you got to fight, fight near the best or equal to your, you know, equal to your, your skills. So what I want to do, I just want to up, upgrade the the competition, you know, stay focused, get up for these fights, and then take it to another level. And I don't want to sit around and keep fighting bums, because when you fight bums, you become a bum. I don't think Marty has to worry about that. No, but I like that attitude. And I think there's other fighters who could learn from that. Marty's a bright guy. He's married. He's got a couple of kids. We met one of his daughters today, five years old. Has another girl as well. He's in the construction business, and... Uh, Still runs his own business. And he said that, you know, he wasn't one of those guys who got into boxing because he had to have the money. And he said, in fact, when he started boxing as a pro, he was making $40,000 a year in the, uh, in the construction business. And there aren't many pro boxers who you can say that about. Nice combination that time by Barrett. Started to the body and then came up. That's the jab of Greg Page, still yeah. strong. Well, you never forget how to throw it. And Page has always had a good one. I think the problem is sometimes you forget to bring it back. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't spin him. Don't spin him now. Break, break, break. break. Come on. Come on. Bonnie Barrett was 37-3 and three as an amateur, two-time New York Golden Gloves champion. As Barry mentioned, he was quite a football player. He had scholarships after being an all-city linebacker in New York. And scholarship offers from Grambling and Eastern Carolina and Southern Mississippi. But he never took the SAT, and he ended up going to community college. He said, oh, you know, I was a street kid. That's why I didn't take the SAT. And uh, he went to play football at a community college, and un unfortunately for him, they ended their football program. So he needed something else, and it was boxing. It's worked out just fine for him. Very impressed by the fact that he had a couple of phone calls from Eddie Robinson, who was then the coach at Grambling. Monty Barrett's nose is bloodied now, and again, I think that's the result of that educated jab from Greg Page. Good body shot from Barrett. Barrett's fighting a smart fight. He's just in there with a guy who's been around the track. Come on, guys, Greg. Get back. That's excellent work with the left hook there. He really, he tripled up on it. Now he's got Page holding on. Come on, watch out, guys. Watch out. Great. Looks to me as though Monty Barrett is having a little trouble with his breathing, that uh, blood in the nose. So we start to wind down the third round, a pretty effective round by and large for Monty Barrett of Queens. We'll be back. We welcome you back. We move on to round number four. Greg Page has got to get that jab to work again because Barrett's beginning to walk through his punches now, beginning to lose respect, I think, for Page and coming forward in sometimes a reckless fashion. But Page has got to keep him off. Now there seems to be a little blood alongside the left eye of Greg Page, unless that's just from Monty Barrett. 
Greg Page retired in 1993. Then he came back three years later, 1996. We mentioned the fact that he fought 17 times. And uh, to underscore Barry's point that it was against low-level opposition, he's knocked out 13 guys in the first round of those 17 fights. Another double left hand from Monty Barrett. Barrett slowly starting to take control of this fight. This is the fourth round of our main event in the heavyweight division. Monty Barrett, 18-0 against the veteran Greg Page. Barrett looking to step up amongst the wannabes in the heavyweight division. And this fight, of course, would, uh, would move him up a couple of notches. Page started quickly, but Barrett starting to turn things his way. isn't done yet here, Barry. He's still got some spring in his legs. Oh, yeah. Showed with that right hand that he can still get a punch off fairly quickly. Barrett does have a tendency every now and then to lunge with his punches, and that has been around as much as Greg Page. Could take advantage of that. Now, Page, remember, we're talking about 40-year-old reflexes. Even if you're in pretty good shape, the reflexes never do come back. And he's having a little trouble now getting away from punches that he avoided in rounds one and two. Can't seem to extricate himself from this position near the corner. Go back, go back. Both guys are bleeding from the nose. Barrett's a little frustrated at times, but he was trying to faint, uh, Page. He was looking down at the floor. He is frustrated, but we should point out that Greg Page, down through the years, it's very difficult to look good against him. He makes you look bad. Even if you're victorious against him, there it's rarely a, a, a smashing-type victory that catches everyone's attention. He's actually fighting more tonight than I've seen him do, especially in his heyday. I mean, he would grab and clutch and spin you and turn you and really get you frustrated. There's Monty Barrett, a little bit frustrated, but hoping to make a good splash tonight as one of the yeah, real young guys coming up. Question mark behind his name, really. Does he belong with the uh, guys who are taking over these young guns coming in of Grant and Tua and Ibi Abucci and Clay Bay, and there's others as well. David is on Rite, Ed Mahone, they're all making some noise. And look at those guys who want one more shot, Barry. They're still around. Not Ray Mercer, he's never even had a shot at the title, believe it or Ray not. Ray Mercer is another one of those dangerous guys. I, I think guys don't want to fight him because he has a tendency to fight better in the bigger fights. Well, he fought great against Holyfield. He fought great against Lennox Lewis. He's a tough, tough guy. Yeah, he is. Some good clean punches landed by Monty Barrett in that round. And what he does a lot of times, he doubles up on the jab and then follows it with the right cross. That's like a, a textbook-type punch there, just the way you practice it in the gym. Round five, and immediately... Barrett trying to take the fight to Page. Your point is well taken. Barrett's starting to walk through Page now. And Page finding it more difficult to get off the ropes, finding it more difficult to spin. He's trying to rest here and just use his wiles, Barry, and savvy to tie up a man or to elude punches. Now Page really doesn't even want to get out of that corner. Quick right hand by Page. Yeah, but he was jabbing earlier in the fight. He's not doing that right now. He's pot shotting, and he, that can be successful. It was for him right there, that right hand. But he's hoping to catch Barrett with a Sunday shot and turn things around. And that's not his game. Good uppercut from Barrett. Snapped ahead of Page back. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen that tonight from uh, Barrett. There was the jab of Page, but you see he left it out there. And Page needs some movement to go along with his repertoire. He's trying to bounce up and down, get his rhythm going, get his legs going here once again. 
trying to bring his legs to life, really, and to get his whole demeanor in the ring back to normal, or what, what was normal for him. He started very quickly in this fight, had Barrett on his heels, and now Barrett started to take the fight to Page. In fact, he has for the last two, three rounds. Quick right hand from Barrett. See, a guy like Greg Page should not be getting hit with right hand leads like that. Come on, Greg, let him go, Greg, let him go. Watch out. Now Page really having trouble getting off, Barry. Not only yeah. eluding punches, but just getting... He's just standing there looking for an opening, and things aren't clicking into gear for him to launch his punches. There's a double uppercut from Barrett. Two good punches there from Monty. starting to control this fight now turned it completely from the early rally of Greg Page and a five we'll be back so you've got an older model we welcome you back we come to round six Greg Page is gonna have to find something that has not been there for the last couple of rounds working the jab as you see Rich's scorecard with Barrett comfortably in front now Page to find his rhythm again. He's going to have to get his jab to work to some effect to keep Barrett out there at the edge of his punches. But Barrett just walking straight ahead, even with hands down. Yeah. them separate themselves. Page at this point can only fight in spurts, it seems, and they're coming fewer and more far between. Yeah. Come on, let him go, let him go. He got a left hand there, but he didn't have much on it. This is what Greg Page will do. He'll lean on you and worry you out, but let him win fights. No, but that's why it's hard to look good against him. Right. But I think what's important here for... Monty Barrett is to get the win, to win fairly convincingly, and to get the notch on his belt and be a first name fighter he's fought and beaten. There are guys with some semi names. For example, he beat uh, Mitchell Rose, whose claim to fame was that he beat Butterbean. Right. The only guy that beat Butterbean. Long reaching right hand from Barrett. And an uppercut. That's probably been his best weapon of the night. The addition of Eddie Mustafa Muhammad in his corner isn't going to hurt him. No, it's going to help him. Eddie, not only a good trainer, but an excellent strategist. Always keeps his fighter's mind on business and keeps it very controlled corner. He said he's been looking at tapes with Eddie. They're studying other fighters, great fighters, and trying not to copy them, but just to take some of their good points. You mentioned Bob Foster on several times. Yes, he did. That's who yeah. he's really looking at. There was a left hand that Page never saw. Watch out, watch out. And things continue to go pretty much the way they have been in the favor of Monty Barrett. Okay, it's my big debut. Here we go. Wise, wise, wise. We welcome you back as Greg Page and Monty Barrett come to the center of the ring for round seven. It, it has been all Barrett in the last, I guess you could say, four rounds. Greg Page in that last round seemed to be shifting into survival mode. He was really hanging on Barrett a lot, clinching. 
And he's a guy with a lot of experience, Paige. He knows just about every trick there is. So Barrett's going to have to deal with that if he wants to get him out of there. Paige complaining about the slap. Did get there with a the right hand of his own, but Paige's punch is coming in uh, numbers of only one. on the other hand seems to be puffing a little bit too i don't think he's quite as strong as he as he was he draws a little warning from earl brown there's only gone 10 rounds once that was in his last fight that warning was for hitting on the break right but he's getting held a lot here and uh, that's going to add to his frustration As we mentioned, uh, he's come into the ring dressed as Captain America and Zorro. Superman. <laughs> yes, we had him on as Superman. There was talk that in his last fight, which was not televised, that he came into the ring as the full Monty. <laughs> but uh, no one seems to confirm that for us. There is that rumor out there. <laughs> Page did get there with the left hand, missed with an uppercut. Time ticking down around seven. We're going ten. And a point is being deducted for Monty Barrett. Uh, I beg your pardon. I thought Earl Brown was taking a point away. He's not. He's just getting the mouthpiece of Greg Page. So momentary timeout. I'm sure Page appreciates all those timeouts. Ooh, welt forming under the left eye of Greg Page. All right, let's go. Page just has to pick his spots too much because he can't fight a full three minutes of the round. End of round seven. Hi, this is Rick. Just as round seven ended, Greg Page landed his best punch of the fight, a clean right hand that Barrett walked right into, and I mean, it straightened him up and then bent him right over. So we'll see if Greg Page can uh, go to school off of that, do a little bit more business. He has had the fight taken away from him since probably the second or third round. was a left hand by Barrett, and that got Page going backwards. And that looked like it shook him a little bit. He had kind of that blank look on his face. Page's legs don't look too steady right at the moment. I think that left hook right at the beginning of the round, Barry really took, might have taken the start right out of Page. Right. And a quick right hand. Eddie Muhammad wants Barrett to come after Page now. Page has been stopped only four times in his career. Twice, interestingly enough, by Mark Wills. <laughs> Figure that one. Yeah. The other times by Bruce Seldon and Donovan Ruddick. Now a big cut over the right eye, a left eye of Monty Barrett, yeah. and that'll all of a sudden send, I'm sure, a surge of adrenaline for Greg Page. That's the same cut that was open in the first round, but now it is really bleeding heavily. It just blew open in this round. Page doesn't seem too anxious. Watch out, watch out. Let's Still a long way to go in this round. That's a pretty nasty cut. And remember, there was no headbutt here. If that cut gets really bad and this fight had to be stopped, we would not go to the cards. Break, break. He would just be stopped on cuts. So that gives Page something to shoot for, if that, you know, depending upon how bad that cut gets. So there'll be some drama in that corner at the end of this round. Come on, watch out, watch out, watch out. 
to try to tie his man up or to fight his way out. He could get out of that corner both figuratively and literally. If he did get out of it, he'd have landed on his nose. But he does get through the round. He was rocked. And there's some work to be done in the corner, meanwhile, of Monty Barrett. Yeah, they're going to work on it right now. Nice to light. Nice to light. Here we go. Great work by Barrett at the end of the round. And look, that's the left hook that did the damage. There you see Page stumble back into the corner, put his hand on the ropes to straighten himself, steady himself for a moment. And Barrett really went to work. Left hook. Page's legs gave way. He had to steady himself. And then Barrett really just belaboring him in that corner. I can tell you one thing Eddie Mustafa Muhammad will work on with Monty Barrett. And that is, he's reaching with his punches. He's really not getting the power he should. He's still able to knock Rick Page back with those punches, but he's not really setting down on him. He's kind of coming forward when he throws those punches, almost on his toes. And what happens when that, when that occurs is you hit it with the tail end of the punches, and the power has already evaporated. Round number nine, and uh, Page unable to do anything about the cut that opened up uh, big time on Barrett in that last round. It's a cut that's been there the whole fight, but it really opened up the last round, and he couldn't do any business. And conversely, Barrett went after Page and almost got him out of there. Now, there he was in punching range. Page is trying to fight back here. Doesn't have the legs at this point in the fight now to get away. Left hand again, and he staggers into the corner. Just trying to work on ring savvy. Earl Brown taking a long look here. Interestingly enough, Page would usually tie his man up in this situation. He hasn't been wont to do that. Still not. 19 years as a professional. 65 professional fights and Greg Page is having to call on all of his experience here every little bit of it and try to use clever tricks in the corner to tie up his man Earl Brown doing a pretty good job officiating here as he will not let Page lay in on Barrett Two guns, I think, was the yes. uh, was the cry. You read that wrong. Well. <laughs> and Page now just hanging on here, literally. Cut over Barrett's eyes, opened up again, but it doesn't seem to bother him. There's a good shot to the body, and then he brought it up with the uppercut. Yeah, I love that combination. That was Mike Tyson's greatest combination, that right hand of the body and the right uppercut following it. He was as brilliant at utilizing that particular combination as anyone I've ever seen. So Page trying to survive into the tenth and final round. I don't believe the fight is winnable for him unless he can find something that... Uh, doesn't appear possible. He may be going back to training fighters full time after this one. Good right hand again by Barrett. A left hand behind it. Blood pouring down the face of Monty Barrett. And another combination. And Page is reeling. But apparently we'll get through this ninth round as well. In a nine. Tenth and final round here at the Trump left Arena. Left, 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 left. And on your card, Rich, uh, Greg Page would have to score a knockout or have a 10-4 round. <laughs> <laughs>
Needs that six knockdown. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, Barrett has just owned the fight since very early on. Page came out gunning. Good building block victory for Monty Barrett. Well, that's it. That's a, that's exactly the way to put it, uh, Bear, because he's uh, he's got to uh, take these little steps up, fight more impressive fighters, fighters who have been there, fighters who he can learn from while defeating them. Well, you can tell this guy's still learning, and he's still learning his craft by his own admission. But he does have some skills. He appears to be strong. I mean, he's hurting guys with punches that... Uh, as you said earlier, he's not really setting down on. He's lunging, and uh, and he's still getting guys hurt. That's shown the ability to jab, maybe not quite as often as Eddie Mustafa Muhammad might want him to. He did a really good job on that cut. Happened in the first round, opened up again in the eighth round. Bled a little bit toward the end of the ninth round, but uh, nothing now. One of our telecasts maybe will have uh, Monty explain all those tattoos on him. He's uh, got a lot of them, and they've all got a story, a fairly <laughs> uh, complex story behind each one of them. Good work inside by Barrett. Barrett showing very good conditioning, too. I mean, he's not dropped off in his attack at all. No, and I just, you know, what we're seeing here, Barry, is basically, I mean, we're seeing a guy who's got 27-year-old reflexes against a guy who's got 40-year-old reflexes. That's precisely. But everybody sees the success of the George Foremans and the Larry Holmes, at least in terms of earning the dollars. Everybody wants a little piece of it. Well, George isn't doing it with quick reflexes. No, he's not. <laughs> doing it the same way he did it 20 years ago. Come on, don't hold him. Break. The back, the back, the back. 30 seconds left for Greg Page to uh, get through this one on his feet. But the result is inevitable. Come on, let him go, Greg. Let him go. And showing some wear and tear in his face now as Page, his left eye beginning to swell close up a little bit break, break. Five seconds, guys. Five seconds. You know, Monty Barrett's a guy who says uh, I didn't choose boxing he said boxing chose me and uh, I think right now he's probably pretty happy he was chosen not a bad performance at all for Monty Barrett is a work in progress but this will be a very good win for him so the decision, I don't believe, is in doubt. We'll find out officially exactly how it went. We'll chat with the winner. All of that on the other side of this commercial break. Don't go away. We're coming back to Atlantic City. We welcome you back. We have had our main event, and Monty Barrett, uh, we believe, uh, will get away with a rather convincing decision. Uh, in fact, why don't we find out right now as we take it to the center of the ring and Thomas Triver. Tom? Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision. All three judges are in agreement, scoring about exactly the same, 99 to 91. All in favor of your winner, Monte Two Guns Barrett. Well, Two Guns uh, used both guns tonight. Uh, good victory for him, good step up for him. As we said, he's a work in progress, but I really believe he's got the right people with him. And uh, better things are yet to come for Monte Barrett. We'll take a lap before he... Uh, Winds up coming back to our own Rich Murata, and uh, he's being escorted over right now. We take you up to the center of the ring, Rich Murata with Monty Barrett. Rich? All right, we'll get him turned around here. <laughs> okay, Monty, yeah. a good win for you. Impressive uh, victory tonight. You managed to take on a guy who was a former world champ. Uh, let me ask you about the first round. It appeared as though he kind of took you by surprise in round number one. Of course, he's always been a boxer, but he came out banging. Was that true? Yeah, at first, I just want to give thanks to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior who was with me all the way through this fight. Then I want to give thanks to Merrick Presents and Joe DeGuardia, my manager and promoter, for putting, having the faith in me to take this uh, opponent. And I want to give thanks to Ed, Eddie Muhammad, my new trainer, and Al Davis, my old trainer, and Jimmy Glenn for believing in me, and they, they pushed me for camp. All right, now, now we're running out of time. Okay, Greg <laughs> Page. Yes, baby. Greg Page, he was a, a former world champion. I, had, I, I looked at the tape on him, and I seen he was a season. He was a vet, and these are things that, um, me and Eddie and I worked on in the camp, and you know, certain things when you get in the ring, 
and it's just you and that person. Certain time you forget little things, but we're gonna go back into the gym and work hard so this way it all becomes original and not mechanic. Did he in fact surprise you at the very beginning of the fight with no. that original onslaught? No, because I seen Tabor in the first three rounds, he came out winging. Mm -hmm. And it was something we was prepared for. I just kept my hands up. I, I made a lot of mistakes, but I'm I'm still a baby, I'm still learning. All right. Well we look forward to seeing you again real soon in the future. It looks like you're on your way up, Bonnie. Yeah, I'd like Thanks to a lot. thank all my family, friends, and all the people who supported me and my foes. All right. I couldn't make it. Thank okay, you. thanks a lot.